Welcome to Joseph's Kitchen. My name is Leslie Ricciatelli, the owner of Joseph's Kitchen, and I'd like to show you how to make your own bread right from your own home. So let's go ahead and start. First, you want to get some hot water, not boiling hot water, but hot enough to add your salt. So let's add the salt in here. I turned my burner on low to keep it nice and warm. And you start stirring up your salt. You'll see at the very end, very bottom of this beaker, there's a little pile of sand already forming. We don't want sand, we want the salt. So you just wait till the pile of sand is all there and you pour it into the other beaker. You wanna make sure you do not pour the sand into the beaker. I don't think anyone wants to eat sand. Again, I have this burner on low and I have the thermometer. We wanna make sure that this reaches at least 100. No more than 120, but we wanna try and keep it at 100. Add the oil and the honey. We source our own, we practice, we test out each one of our ingredients to make sure it is the proper ingredients for you to make the best homemade bread. Now we're gonna add in two eggs. Place that over there. And you just wanna give it a stir, get all the ingredients mixed together. Sometimes I'll go ahead and mix the egg up before I pour it in, makes it a little bit easier. Okay, now we're gonna let that sit just a minute while we grain the wheat. Now what makes this wheat so special is we take the wheat directly from the farms and we test each harvest. We not only do that, we do not deshell our wheat. So you're getting all the nutrients and the health benefits that come from the shell. So we're going to pour the wheat into the grinder. Make sure you first turn it on. And you'll wait and you'll just let it keep going until it's a nice smooth sound and all of the wheat is ground up. It makes a nice fine powder. Nice smooth sound, you know all of the wheat is now ground up. All right, so then you, um, you take it out of there. You might get a little flour on you, just saying. Oh, see, that wasn't too bad. Now we're going to pour the liquids in first. This has reached 100 degrees, no more than 120. Nice and perfect there. We'll give it one more stir to get the ingredients mixed up once more. And go ahead and pour that into your flour pan your flour pan, your bread pan, and now add your flour. Now one thing is this flour is a little more dense. It's more coarse than your standard store-bought flour because it's not bleached, it's not processed. This is directly from the wheat berries at the farm and we triple wash them. So you know that it, you're getting clean wheat berries going into your bread and not only that, when you're cooking the bread, it's gonna be cooked over, so if there's any other things in there we don't want, it'll be taken care of, trust me. So, after you pour the flour into the bread pan, you're going to make a little, what we call grave. Not always the best word, but it works. You're gonna take your lecithin, and you're gonna pour it off to the side, not in the grave. You take the yeast, and you pour that in that little hole, that grave there. Bury up your grave. That's it. Put that into your bread making machine. We'll give you the settings on our recipes. It's already pre-programmed with our settings. You just click on that, hit start, and two and a half hours later, you got this.
a wonderful nice loaf of wheat, wheat, wheat bread. Now, the wonderful thing about this is it's heavy, it's dense, it's full of nutrients and health benefits for you and your family. My kids enjoy it, my family enjoy it, my friends and family enjoy this. It's not always the most perfect, as you can see, but that's the beauty behind homemade bread. It always will taste delicious. I guarantee you that you will love it. Practice, try it a few times. It's not always gonna come out perfect, but that's one thing. You just gotta give it a few tries and find out what works best for you. Thank you so much for coming to Joseph's Kitchen. I hope you enjoyed this experience as much as I have. I know my kids and family love it. Yours will too. Share it with your family and friends. Like it, subscribe, and comment down below what things worked for you, what benefits you found, different recipes that you came up with. We want to hear from you. We want to talk with you. We value your opinion. This is not a very cut dry black and white process. We want to know what works for you guys and what your experiences are. So please comment down below. Visit us at josephskitchen.com. And again, we have a full support team to answer any questions that you might have. Thanks and God bless.